All right, we go. Shalom Yisrael, the preaching man back at you all again. And cooking, I have a fabulous dish for today. And some words of wisdom, but let me first of all check on the young daughters. They are preparing something for us with this wonderful meal that we're going to have today. Come on in for a minute. You see the daughters of Zion, the little ones. All right, don't you? Where is this water coming from? All right, let me turn this on. Come on. Okay. Here's the young daughters. Let me see the Yes, they small. This our young daughters. Ah, oh, look at this. They are preparing what? Oh, they have fresh cucumbers and cheese. That is so beautiful. This is what they are preparing for us. Oh, so wonderful. You all turn to the camera and say shalom. Don't be afraid. Shalom. The young daughters of Zion. All right. Bless them. Come on, my friend. You have to disappear. Hallelujah. Okay. We go into the grill now. Got everything ready to go. Ready to cook. You're going to the free market. You want the free market, Sippy? Oh. Okay. Got my grill ready to rock. Let me just put the ashes out. Bring it on over here. Put the ashes in here. Mm. Spread these out. And from there. Add some fresh corn. Okay. We need to get cooking here. Okay. I don't want to get too hot. We got some fresh coals here on the grill. What to do? Chicken wings today. How you doing, son? Spreading that out a little bit. I don't, I don't want it to get too hot. These are my sons here. Come on, say shalom. Yeah. Say yabra. Yabra. Your sure name. Yeah. All right. Hallelujah. I want to. Let me clean that off a little bit. The ashes. I want to talk a little bit, and we're going to conclude this when I finish this. And I want to show you another aspect of the community, but there are a few things I want to talk about. This is, I want to talk about community, common unity, the concept. But I do want to say this before I began. I am poor. And those that call themselves Hebrew Israelites, and they speak of the contingency of people that they call Hebrews, they identified them with one of the most derogative words of the lexicon of man. You know the word, the end one. This is how they entreat one another, and yet they tell you you got to love each other. And they love, quote, the Hebrew Israelites, unquote. I find them to be deceived and full of deception. They're liars, and they have no truth in them. Anytime you will identify, you call them your brothers, your ach, the achim, the host of Yisrael, this is how you identify them. Let me ask you one question. They're ignorant by your standards, are they not? So I ask you, the same superlative that you identify them as, your mother was ignorant maybe at one time, your sister, your natural kinsman, do you identify them the same way? Do you walk in the midst of their dubious fellowships and identify them the same way? Is that how you talk to them? It is appalling that this is how you have you have uh, 
diminish the purpose of those of Israel. They sin, they sin. And I will rebuke the toughest one when it comes to sin. You call them some of the most violent, evil names upon the face of the earth. It's appalling. And you are the ones that call yourself spiritual. No, there are certain words in the lexicon I will never use. I will never identify those that say they are the bed of Yisrael by those terms and that kind of terminology. Look, I have chicken wings today. Variety. These are, these have marinated for the last three days in teriyaki. These are for the young ones. I don't know. They may go with the spicy ones, will they? A little. A little. Okay. And so what I'm going to do here, I'll run out later and get some green onions. You see here on this grill, this black mat, this is, you that love to grill, if you want to make things brown fast, you can buy these at, uh, you can buy them at, uh, eBay is the cheapest place. They sell them in copper and all. And they will do this quickly. They will give a nice brownish color. And these chicken wings are skewered. We have skewered them, cilantro and ginger and all that's in here. And I'm going to, when I finish with this, I'm going to reduce this down so it'll be a tremendous concentrated sauce. And the little ones, this, one of these wings will fill one of them. The adults, that's a different thing. They want it spicy. But you as a nation of people that say you love Yah, you need to stop addressing each other by that, that word. It is evil. It is sadistic. It has no value at all. It is something that the white man has taught you. You talk about the white man all the time, but you carry on his pedigree. You use the same words. You identify a people. What if they are ignorant? They don't know. You all call his children savage fools. We don't know. And yet this is how you identify them. Because they don't know what you know. They eat pork, but that's what you call them. You must understand I have a precious friend we do here from Cuba. He comes. And so I wanted to prepare a meal for him. So he said, Riak, as I went on YouTube and found some recipes for Cubans. His wife is a precious Jamaican. And uh, he says, Riak, in Cuba, they eat a lot of unclean things. And I said to my friend, tell me this, what can they eat? They have nothing else. You suppress a man to that degree violently. What else is there for him to eat? Does he watch his babies die? Does he butcher the pig that will eat anything and eat it? What else does he do? Does he go to the ocean and find crustacean that he can eat? To feed his babies. We are violent people of reproach. Mm -hmm. We think we're wise, but we're mm -hmm. ignorant. Yes. We say we love God, we don't give a damn. Mm -hmm. I don't buy your lies. What do you tell that man? Please help me. And I will tell him the same thing that you would tell him. I'm going to reduce the sauce here. So I got this pan here. I'm going to pour all of this precious ginger and all of this into this pan. Ah, beautiful. And I'm going to put it here and let it stay warm and reduce it down so that the chicken, hallelujah, the children are going to love this. I'm going to close this just for a moment. Let it get some heat. Take this in the kitchen for me, son, please. Let it cook a bit. And that one there. There's another one of our young friends that's helping us. Turn around, my friend. Say shalom to everyone. Shalom. Shalom. All right. Take it in the, in the, in the dining hall, in the kitchen, son. Appreciate it. And so we have no concept. Those that live in the islands and different parts of the world, how do they eat according to the dietary law of Yah, his Torah? 
and yet you condemn them in their ignorance? If a man sins willfully, if a man sins with pleasure after he, have come, ha, he has come to the knowledge of the Torah, there remains no offering for his sin. There is no cleansing, no purging at all. When there is, the Torah used the word chafetz, when he takes great delight. When there's a purpose and a great pleasure when he does that. But if a man sins because he's ignorant, he doesn't understand the dynamics of that. When a man has nothing but some pork belly to feed his children, what does he do? Some horse meat? Does he negate and reject that? A country that the environment has subjugated him unto that? No resources. He owns a field where he grows corn, uh, sugar cane, or even raised tobacco. And then 80% of that goes to the government. He only has 20%. And that one, through his diligent and hard work, maybe they can afford some beef. But what do they eat when there's nothing else? Please tell me. You are the ones that will litigate what the Torah says through your ignorance. You have no concept of consideration, none at all. That's why you can call each other that violent name that the white man put on you to keep a separation and disregard each other. That's what you do. True. I may tell you you're a wicked man, mm -hmm. but I'll sit down at the table with you, eat bread, and, and prepare you some nice, uh, nice steak, mm -hmm. potatoes, yes. some beef. But yet you speak violently and with reproach against those that have no other alternative. And you think you are right, you're a wicked man. But that's not what I want to talk about today. I, 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 I'm going to finish this. And I want to show you one of the aspects of community life. But what I want to do is get this done. I want to get these wings nice and brownish. You understand? And so we can begin. It's going to take me a while. I've got these, which are the teriyaki ones. These are the teriyaki. And then I have... Hmm. Then I have these. I think about my friends from the islands, from Jamaica. These are wings that uh, we have. Uh, we have what we call uh, a mech, a, uh, a a a Hawaiian habanero mango uh, sauce here base, and I got this filled with um, with. Um, with 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 uh, uh, some 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 Jamaica Jamaican spices, or Caribbean spices, and also also have in here some some stir anise, and I have I have ginger, and in the midst as well I have uh, some jerk, and so this is somewhat of a twist of mine, so they can enjoy the different flavors on the taste bud. I love to cook. Mm -hmm. And this here is for the community here. All of this is for us, but this is what most of the adults like here. They like them spicy like that. That's hot. And I'm going to, I'm going to condense this sauce here. You see how they're skewed? They look big. So it, 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 it fulfills the appetite much quicker because it looks big, but it's actually the same chicken wing. So we skewer these. The daughters of Zion skewed them for me, and I'm going to cook them. And I'm going to cook them for the people of Yah, so we can enjoy this, and they will enjoy it. Then I will condense this sauce, and they can pour that over that. If they wanted something spicy. I said, all right. One of my young compadres got on me and said, nah, it just wasn't hot enough the last time. So I got something that will make him cry. And here he comes now, the one that told me that it wasn't hot enough the last time. So I got something for him this time. He won't complain. That's a fact. So what is community? What is the concept of community? It is based upon the principle of one. We know that the number one in the numerics of what we will call Yah's truth or theology, it represents that unified 
Ruach spirit of unity. That there's nothing that segregates, you become one. The purpose is the same, the idea is the same, the love is the same. And it's not some form of hybrid love, it's real. And so you work on that process, living with each other. There are those that say, we're going to start communities. At the time of great agony, people will run into it. Well, let me say this to you all. This community is not here for you. When all hell break loose, for you to run in. You will cause more hell than the devil. You have not been refined. You don't want to be with Yah's people. You don't want to support that which is right. You, you segregate yourself. Uh, you move away from that. And you think, question I ask you all. I will ask. As my grandmother would say, I will ask. A-X. Uh, ask us all this question. You are warn a people. You says I'm going to tear the damn house down. You all go play a little bit. We, we got this. You all play. Go, go out there and play. You says I'm going to tear the damn house down. No, ach. Did they come when the terror arose and beat upon that great vessel? Yoshua is a vessel of safety. They beat upon him. Yoshua said there are going to be many come in the last days and say, did I not do this in thy name? Did I not carry out the mandate? He will say, depart from me, ye worker. You're the workers of Ovon, Ovi, of yes. iniquity. True. He said, no, you're not. True. People thinking they're going to run in here. Now you can establish a community that way. You don't even know them. It's almost like a young man and a young woman marrying. They think they know each other, but yet mm -hmm. when they live with each other, they find out things that, oh, I didn't know you did that. Mm -hmm. well, I didn't know you did that either. And a man of my age, and my longevity of marriage, I think I can speak on that with some wisdom. Sure. I can speak on that. Look at the beauty of that. Look how that is. Carmelized and beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Preacher yeah. man is here. See, that's why these little mats are beautiful. I love them. I really like them for doing this on the chicken. It gives you a beautiful caramelization on the grill, and it works well. Then what I will do, I will put these in another pan and cook them and let them cook thoroughly. I want the caramelization first. You see how beautiful that is? Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. I know that's right, son. Yes, sir. I don't want to burn the little tip because we love them. It is not a wing, but it's a wing. A wing is not a wing. I see my adversary coming here. He, he wants to make sure I do it right. Do it right, son. You know that right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, so y'all, did he open the gates of that entrance for safety? They came and they beat upon it. They cried. You can hear the tears of the babies and all. And these are those who will be the first ones to run there. And they have never sent one damn dime. There's a group that posted on our website what they are doing. It is called Gosha. I don't know the man. I know of him. I've seen his presence in pictures. And it is amazing that I did not take it down. He has a GoFundMe, and from what I'm hearing, that they have land in different places. I find that to be awful silly when you haven't built one building on the land. We came here, there was nothing. Mississippi, I just panned that. 23 years ago, I came here with my wife. These young men here with me now, they were young. They were little boys. They are men of strength. And even when those that they knew that were with us left, they have stood the test of time and married both of them. The wives are still abiding with them. We came here 23 years ago 
In two months, it will be 23 years. In April, it will be 23 years. We had nothing. We didn't even have tools, and you haven't seen the place. And that's why I want to explore you. See that building there? That's called be it the Daughters of Zion's Place of Fellowship. Our families go in there, but that's for the daughters. Their communities have nothing where the women can fellowship and be segregated. But we're going to show you the communal concept, and that's why I'm here today, because I love cooking for Yah's people. I love this. I love to cook. I take great delight in it. True. And it gives me great pleasure that Yah has granted me uh, uh, the, the ability to cook. And to share with them my my love for them because they're always showing me their love for me. So communal living is not something that you go and live wicked like a dog. You spend all of your damn money on your violent, evil lust. And all of a sudden when the economy breaks and everything falls, we don't give a damn what happens to the economy. That's true. That's right. We have a generator, whether we can run it or not, that will put power in this entire community. Mm -hmm. If we have to have power once a week, it's enough. Mm -hmm. We have food here that we can eat for years if we need to. True. And you think I'm going to let you come in, never sending one down, and say you're going to live with me? Well, I, I don't think it's going to go that way. Look at the caramelization of that. My, 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 my. Mm. That is beyond beautiful. I just simply want to get the caramelization on these. Look at that. And then I'm going to put them where they can just bake and bake and bake until they are done. And I will get the fire roaring and then I will put everything here. That's why I say these mats, you can get them in copper. You can get them in black. And I found them the cheapest place, really. Amazon and, uh, Amazon and, uh, what is the other place? Um, you all know the place, sir. eBay. eBay. I buy everything on Amazon and eBay. I don't even go shopping. I don't even buy shoes unless I go to Amazon, eBay, somewhere like that. I don't go nowhere and buy nothing. I get it from Amazon or eBay. So this is my offering to Yah's people, to be subservient unto them and serve them with great delight. And let it be a pleasure to serve them. I've heard hypocrites say, oh, it's my pleasure to do this, but they're liars, they're dogs. It's not their pleasure, they're evil. And that's a fact. I don't cow down to no man, especially this effeminate generation. I don't cow down to them, not one bit. Now, one bet, I don't count down, not at all. I want to say that quite frankly. This is not a place where you're going to run in and bring your wicked matterism here and say you're a Hebrew. There are many that say they are the house of Israel and they are the seed of the enemy because I know I know the seal, the Hatam of Hashatan. And I know the seal of Yah as well. And we're going to deal with those things. But I'm going to cook. I want to come back. I, I want to do this little brief introduction. My friends here, the Akim, there are not many of us here, but we delight in our great fellowship through kindness. And when I don't even know how to love his love, the one behind the camera, his love makes me love him. His mm -hmm. kindness to me. Command kindness upon him. Mm -hmm. And when correction is needed, it mm -hmm. is done. Yes. His walk corrects me. Mm -hmm. His kindness to me keeps me in check. It repudiates me. He doesn't have to walk up to me and say, Reak, I bind you devil because no. I, that I'm not. No. It's his kindness. His love for me. His faithfulness. I can't do him wrong. I'd rather suffer. And he has been with me many years. You can hear his voice in the camera. Mm -hmm. He knows yes. I have not committed any wrong. No. I have not raped, 
The women? No. I've not touched his wife? No. The last time I hugged her was the day I married them. Mm -hmm. And I always give the daughters a kiss on the forehead. Yes. Never touched her again? No. Never talked to her again? No. Because I honor him to that degree. I don't hug his wife. No. I don't talk to his wife. No. And that, how long have you all been married? 13 years. Oh, my, married you? Oh, son. Mm -hmm. 13 years. How many youngers you got? Five. Those were his sons standing here with me. How long you been married, your wasa doc? 13 years. 13 years. I'm married. I'm getting old, man. <laughs> and I have never been in either one of their homes mm -hmm. because I respect them. Mm -hmm. I honor them. They have True. their home. True. They floor my home anytime they need to mm -hmm. because it is the office of this community. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it's a violent, evil, sadistic thing to think that you that are violent have no love. You possess no love for y'all. And you think I'm going to just let you run in and disturb our order? No, my friend. You're not going to do that. That's not the way it is. And y'all did not allow one of them. He did not allow any of them to go into the ship with, into the boat with no, with no eyes. No, that's true. Neither is going to allow you to come in. Now, you that want to develop community for that, go ahead. I don't have a you with that. And you want to find out if they can't live with you now? Mm -hmm. True. They sure not ain't going to. As my mm -hmm. granny would say, they grand or not, they're not going to that's right. live with you even in a time of great distress. Agony or pain, you think they're going to live with you? You're silly. If you believe that, I can sell you the Golden Gate Bridge. Give me 10000 I signed the paper for you. And if you think they're going to live with you, oh, you're silly. True. They're not going to do it. You see, I'm going to put these here now. As Granny was saying, Granny, see that? And they're going to cook when I do them all. They'll be so rosy brown and such fragrance of flavor. Ah, uh, yeah. The daughters of Zion are in the kitchen cooking some. Some with their husbands have gone to the flea market. I don't play the flea market thing. I like the flea market. I just can't. I can't stand that kind of environment. I'm going to put this for my babies here, the children. They're not hot. So I'm putting these here for them. We're going to get it done. And as Granny would say, don't worry about a thing. You see that beautiful chart on there? Mm -hmm. That's what that does. That's exactly what it does. It gives us a nice coating. I do the hot ones last because I don't want the babies to have the hot ones and they say it's hot. They tell me it's hot, Poppy. What a great pleasure it is to be here with with the Akeem, we don't have to worry about some place, some park doing this. That's right. The shooting and doping. True. Loud music and the women are dressed like slutty hoes. Mm -hmm. The young cats are like effeminate retards. True. That's what they dress like. Mm -hmm. True. They have no sense of regard or respect. None. None whatsoever. What I'm going to do is wipe this down just a little bit. Get all this charred stuff off. You can use these. Oh, oh, that's how Zarkane better mean right there. Get them. Too long, too long. You can read the. You can use these mats over and over and over again. You can use them. When I finish with these, I wash them off. I just don't want that. You see, that's that sugary content of caramelization. I don't want to stick it on the next ones. Okay. Now that's ready to go. You all done? Huh? You all do whatever you want to. But these are what I call my Jamaican, Jamaican Hawaiian spice ones. I got those from Jamaican here, and our friends are kind, and I want to do something for their taste. I don't know what how it's going to turn out, but I'm going to do it, all right? Hmm. Yes, sir. He wants to uh, give me, I have a small frying pan skillet there in my, there, I want to put this sauce in that, okay? Yes, sir. It's okay, now I got some money, man. I know, that ain't what I said. All right, I owe you now. Hmm. Next one on me. Yes, sir. 
All right. All right, that's looking beautiful. So what I'll do with these, I'll take them off on the next one. I put my spicy ones there. And I, I put three more new ones on there and I wash those up. We as a nation of people. Now where can our babies go play? Nice little park and you haven't seen our park yet. We'll do one video. The next one, I, what I'm going to do, either I'm going to do some, that'll work. Do I have a, give me that little small pot. That little, when you go in the door to the right, it's a pot, hang, one of my pots hanging on the wall. I want to do either out of my turkey cookers, uh, two nice turkeys. I want to do a Cajun one, spicy. I want to do a sweet one for the baby. So either I will, uh, I, I got a smoker in my other area that I'll do a, um, I'll do some, I'll do some, uh, mm, maybe some, some of the uh, beef roasts and things like that. And uh, I'll do that. One of the two. But we'll do it from the park next time. The next one will be from the park. Yes, sir. That's what I need. Thank you, sir. We'll do it from the park. And so you see what the drippings and all of that? All those wonderful drippings. I'll pour them in this pot. I believe in keeping things clean. I don't want nothing nasty. And I'll put this part here. I, I, I'm going to let this reduce itself. All the sauces, I'm going to let reduce them. All of them. And then I will uh, will have that to put over. I, I get to talk and I can't stop. To put over the... Uh, to put over the, uh, to put over the, uh, when it's done, mm -hmm. give us a little more of the flavoring and, uh, you know, the, uh, the beauty of the sauce. So that's what I'll do. I dress it up in these pans and lay them out. I'll pour that over. It'll be delicious. I promise you that. Yes, yes. They're not going to fight me because as long as my babies say my food is tough, I don't care <laughs> what the adults say. <laughs> Yes, it's sir. difficult to please a child's palate. And they will tell me, Papi, it tastes so beautiful. True. So that's all that matters to me. If they will eat it, that's enough. Listen, I'm going to get these off next. And I'm going to come back with another 20 minutes. And I want to show you a beautiful place with the daughters where they can go and fellowship and just sing with their babies. And the children here last night had a beautiful sleepover. They had great fellowship mm -hmm. in the fellowship hall and the young men, the young boys went to one place to fellowship and sleep. And then the daughters of Zion, the young ones, they went to the girls, the daughters, they went to another place in that same place. And they had fellowship all night. Mm -hmm. And there's only one law here when they have fellowship. One. No, I set that law. I don't care what mama, daddy say. Mm -hmm. There's no curfew, yeah. no yes, bedtime. Yes, Whatever sir. time they want to go, that's what time they yes, go. Yes, sir. Yeah, I said it. I set that law here. Yes, sir. True. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So listen, let me take a look at this before we separate for a moment. Uh, that's got a little while. You see how that is? I'll tell you what I may need to do, your wife, Doc. I may need to put a little charcoal in there. What did it look like? Oh, yeah, I need to. I gotta get the charcoal up a little bit. Take that bag from me right there. Yeah. Don't don't pull yeah, don't pull all of them in there. I tell you what, come here, son. Let me have it. And know what I need in there. Yeah, let me see. I need it. Thank you, sir. I might as well. All right. This back. This is gonna give it nice. Let's see, I, I, can, I can go in for a minute, check my email. So again, this is about community, the concept of common living, community living, and the com community where life is to generate one thing. 
that there be preponderance of evidence of our great love for Yah. Mm -hmm. And we will know we love Yah as how we love our Ra'a, our neighbors, mm -hmm. how I deal with him, how he interacts with me, how I, my compassion is shared upon him, and how his compassion is scattered abroad throughout this community. Yes, true. So you're not going to come here when the devil breaks you down. Yes, sir. You've never given us a dime here. That community that is starting Gosha, I, I would show them what they, the, what it's going to take. Mm -hmm. Now that's whether they visit me or not. Mm -hmm. They have a, a page or a, a connection that I left there mm -hmm. on our comments on our web page, and whereby people that will come to us and they send the monies, that's them. And yet I can show them what communal construct is. True, true. Because above all things, the leader. Mm -hmm. And the one that you got to have one in command because mm -hmm. everything in life does that. Yeah. Who's in command of the United States? Mr. Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. And he got those that legislate the executive branch, put the final seal, and those that go by the bylaws of the laws of the nation. So it is here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. He right. must be a hard worker. Mm -hmm. He must be willing to work. He must be knowledgeable. He doesn't have to do it. Mm -hmm. But he must have possessed the skills uh, to understand what is necessary, what it's going to take. Mm -hmm. And the only way you're going to experience anything like that, he's got to get out there and work. Mm -hmm. He's got to dig ditches. Mm -hmm. yes, and I'm so glad I started when I was a young man in my latter 30s. In my latter 30s, I'm in my 60s now. Mm -hmm. I was kind of ashamed because I was so young doing that. Mm -hmm. I really wanted people to think I was older than what I was. I really was, that's the truth. And so it's going to take a full effort. And he must be the one that progenerate, he must be the one that uh, be the office of that. He can't lay in some air conditioned place and everybody out working. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go there. Mm -hmm. It is above this, above all matters. Let me say this and I'll be back. You cannot have a community in your name. It must be in the organization's name. No one can sell it. Mm -hmm. And so there's only one here belongs to them. And when they die, well, mm -hmm. Give it to the government, it's going to take it back anyway. True. That's yeah. the way it must be. I would never move in a community that's in his name, my wife and I. You think I would move there? Mm -hmm. Well, because your wife can get nutty, mm -hmm. and you can get nutty. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's one thing about this concept here, this community, is that if they say, Ray, we don't want you here, believe me, I would leave. Mm -hmm. They know that it is vital and important that I'm here. Yes. Yeah. And I need to be here yes. because I need them and they need me. Yes, and to put something in my wife and my name to say it's mine, it's yours, it's ours. And if I die, when she die, what do we do? Well, the next of kin, it doesn't happen here. Yes, it belongs to them. Mm -hmm. They have labored. They have put in the resources. And by the way, you're not taking anything anyway. Sure. That little money you think you're saving, hmm. it's sure. not going to last. No, no sir. You're not going to run in here. You're never given one penny. You're never given one dime to strengthen this. Mm -hmm. To say, preacher, buy some bread or buy some seeds to plant, plant some okra. Mm -hmm. There are those that do that. Sure. And they have a place to run into when it all break hell loose. Yes. Listen, I'll be back. I'm going to finish this. When I get it all somewhat ready, we're going to come and do the last part. And then I want to show you one of one building for our daughters that we, these Akim, I labored mm -hmm. to make sure it was a beautiful place. True. They can come and enjoy each other and sit with each other. Yes. No, we don't have air conditions in homes. Yeah, I don't have one. Mm -hmm. I got one in the small office I got, but I don't sleep with one. Mm -hmm. We got air conditions in other places where mm -hmm. you got to come out of your house and fellowship. Yes, sir. That's right. What a sorry leader with an air condition. He says I'm going to stay cool all day and everybody else. Houses are burning up. Mm -hmm. I'll be back later on. All right. Hallelujah. Praise ye. Yeah. What am I doing with my glasses? Okay. All right, my friends. Are you up now? Yes, sir. All right, my friends. This is the last bit I want to show you. I've been cooking here today for our friends. Look at my friends there. We're going to... We're going to eat some of this wonderful stuff we got. Yes. Enjoy doing yes, this sir. for the house of Yisraya. Eh, what a great pleasure. 
It is one we can get, but uh, this is what I want to show you before I the finished product. First of all, we got uh, we got all of the sauces boiling to a certain. I want it to be somewhat. Oh, that's ready. See, that's my Cajun and and uh, and my uh, ah, Hawaiian habanero. And this is just a little bit of uh, a little bit of the uh, teriyaki. And I'll dip the wings and all that once again, give them that kind of flavor. And the, the, this is a complete product of all the wings. I'm just gonna let this cook for a while. And let it be done and we're gonna eat. Yeah, it's this caramelization a little, but it'll be all right. They'll pull that off. It'll be all right. Let me say this before I close with you all today. Make sure that we are conscious of the nation of Yisrael. There's a great regard for his house. There's a great honor for his people because he honors them. And he doesn't use the kind of language that many of you all use. When you identify people that you say that are Hebrews, you disregard. You have no respect for not one. And you talk about the damn white man, Esav, huh? And this is how you regard a people that that man that you say is the devil. Then what are you? What kind of person is you? You don't disregard his nation. He has elected them. Yet again, he's going to Yahshua. He's going to Yeshua. He's going to save his people from all of their corruption and their sin. What people have endured the indignity of a nation of people like the people that were brought to this nation without any kind of stewardship. They did not come as immigrants. They came under the shackles of change. Yes, true. And tell me the heathens have done more wicked than them. And then you ridicule them and you call them that word. You call each other that. Very seldom do you even hear yourself calling even the Caucasian, the white man, a cracker. Mm -hmm. But you will denigrate the people like that. I don't even want to use that. But there's one thing we must do. We must have a great consideration. If they are his people, who do you think you are to, to denigrate them the way you denigrate them? Sure. Your father was ignorant mm -hmm. because your father didn't teach you. Your mother was ignorant because she didn't teach me. My mother was ignorant. My father was ignorant. They couldn't teach me. They didn't know what I know today. They could only eat pork because that's all they had. They could eat what was set before them. So what do you tell a man that his child is starving? Not to eat it? You're stupid. Mm -hmm. What do you tell the people in the islands? Not to eat that? I will never encroach upon them in that manner. Now if they ask me why I don't, I would show them. And then it would eventually become a stronghold in their minds and they would do the same thing. And you ridicule, you downgrade. You speak of them, you speak of a dog with much more humility than you do that, people. Mm -hmm. You won't you call a bulldog a bulldog. No, 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 that's a bulldog. You'll call a Rottweiler a Rottweiler. True. You just don't call every dog a pit bull. You call a pit bull a pit bull. That's what you will do. You don't call a lion a cat. You call it by its identity. Yes. So how do you integrate something that is so defiled against a people? Now don't tell me that is neger from the Greek. You're a liar. The word neger simply means black. That's all it means. It doesn't imply to a a, a, a nature of a person, that's all it means. Right. Niger doesn't mean that one is, it is appropriate to call someone the word you use and say it's all right, you're a fool. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you to your face, you're a fool. Mm -hmm. And I will speak that and confront you about that. And I confront you on this video. You're not coming to see me. Again, I want to close with this. You that think that communal life is something that you're just going to spon spontaneously say, I'm going to the community I'm going to live. You have to lay down you. So this place is not being built 
for you to run from your heathen ways and try to come in here and corrupt us. We're not going to allow you to do that. You must learn. You must live with your neighbor. You live with the faggots. You live with every, every kind of dog. You're next to a neighbor. You mm -hmm. respect them. But you will not respect the house of Yisrael. You give Mr. Walmart every dime you got, mm -hmm. every nickel. But when it comes to supporting something uh, of riches that you figure one day I'll run in there if things get too tough, you don't run here. Their communities just say they will open the doors. Yeah. I wouldn't open the door to you because I know you will be a fool. Yeah. And you will carry yourself because you act like a fool now. Right. You do things. Mm -hmm. you, want to, you want to be combative. You want to tell people. You couldn't come here and do that. Mm -hmm. We will not allow you to do it. And so till the next time, my friends, the preacher will be cooking again. Maybe been about three or four weeks, and I got something special. I want to cook. And then I, I, I want to, as the f spring begins to come, show you how beautiful our place is and all the amenities. Uh, that's what community is about. It's not you living individually from your brother, your sister, but you all collectively refine this way of life by learning how to love each other. Mm -hmm. You can't say you love me by calling me that in. Mm -hmm. You don't give a damn. Mm -hmm. Until then, me, the shalom of your rest upon you all in your sure's name. We say, Yabruch. Your shoes, mighty name, Yabra. Shalom.